Our lesson for today is about using part whole in subtraction. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to interpret and represent the part whole concept in subtraction using models. Question number one. Diva buys 20 duck and chicken eggs. Seven of them are duck eggs. How many chicken eggs does he have? Let's break down the question and understand it. Siba buys 20 duck and chicken eggs. Do we know how many duck and chicken eggs Siba buys? Yes, Siba buys 20 duck and chicken eggs. Seven of them are duck eggs. We will circle the seven duck eggs in the tray. How many chicken eggs does he have? The question asks us to find the number of chicken eggs Siba buys. Now that we understand the question, let's move on to solve this word problem. Siva buys 20 duck and chicken eggs. Let's use a rectangle to represent the number of duck and chicken eggs Siva buys. Seven of them are duck eggs. Let's divide the rectangle into two parts. One part represents seven duck eggs and the other part represents the number of chicken eggs he buys. Can you see that the two parts formed a whole? To find one part, you use the whole to minus the other part. Can you see that the number of chicken eggs he buys is equal to 20 minus 7. Do you understand it now? Great! Let's move on to the calculation. The number of chicken eggs is equal to 20 minus 7. Do you know how to subtract 7 from 20? If you recalled, we can use mental strategy using number band to subtract 7 from 20. We just need to split 20 into 10 and 10. Then subtract 7 from 10 to get 3. We will then add 10 and 3 to get 13. Hence, he has 13 chicken eggs. Let's move on and make sure that our answer is correct. From our answer, we know that he has 13 chicken eggs. From the question, we know that seven of them are the duck eggs. The total number of duck and chicken eggs is equal to 13 plus seven. 13 plus seven is equal to 20. This is consistent with the value given in the question. Therefore, we know that our answer is correct. Question number two. There were 58 mangoes in a box. 12 mangoes were rotten. How many mangoes were not rotten? Let's break down the question and understand it. There were 58 mangoes in a box. Do we know how many mangoes are there in the box? Yes, there were 58 mangoes in the box. 12 mangoes were rotten. We will take away the 12 rotten mangoes from the box. How many mangoes were not rotten? 
The question asks us to find the number of mangoes that are not rotten. Now that we understand the question, let's move on to solve this word problem. There were 58 mangoes in a box. Let's use a rectangle to represent the number of mangoes in a box. Twelve mangoes were rotten. Let's divide the rectangle into two parts. One part represents the number of the rotten mangoes. The other part represents the number of mangoes that are not rotten. Can you see that the two parts make a whole? To find one part, you use the whole to subtract the other part. Can you see that the number of mangoes that were not rotten is equal to 58 minus 12? Do you understand it now? Great! Let's move on to the calculation. The number of mangoes that are not rotten is equal to 58 minus 12. Let us subtract the ones. 8 ones minus 2 ones is equal to 6 ones. Let us subtract the tens. 5 tens minus 1 ten is equal to 4 tens. 58 minus 12 is equal to 46. Hence, 46 mangoes were not rotten. Let's move on and make sure that our answer is correct. From the answer, we know that 46 mangoes were not rotten. From the question, we know that 12 mangoes were rotten. The number of mangoes in a box is equal to 46 plus 12. 46 plus 12 is equal to 58. This is consistent with the value given in the question. Therefore, our answer is correct. Question number three. There are 416 primary two pupils in a school. 248 of them are girls. How many primary two boys are there in the school? Let's break down the question and understand it. There are 416 primary two pupils in a school. Do we know how many primary two pupils are there in school? Yes, there are 416 primary two pupils in a school. 248 of them are girls. We will separate the 248 girls from the boys. How many primary two boys are there in the school? The question asks us to find the number of boys in the school. Now that we understand the question, let's move on and solve this word problem. There are 416 primary two pupils in a school. Let's use a rectangle to represent the number of primary two pupils, which is 416. Two hundred and forty-eight of them are girls. Let's divide the rectangle into two parts. One part represents the number of primary two girls in the school, which is two hundred and forty-eight. And the other part represents the number of primary two boys. 
Can you see that the two parts make a whole? To find one part, you use the whole to subtract the other part. Can you see that the number of primary two boys is equal to 416 minus 248? Do you understand it now? Great! Let's move on to the calculation. The number of primary two boys is equal to 416 minus 248. Let us subtract the ones. Since six ones is less than eight ones, we need to regroup the tens and ones. Regroup one ten into ten ones and add it to six ones to make sixteen ones. Let us subtract eight ones from sixteen ones. Subtract the tens. Since zero tens is less than four tens, we need to regroup the hundred and tens. Regroup one hundred into ten tens. Ten tens minus four tens is equal to six tens. Subtract the hundreds. 300 minus 200 is equal to 100. 416 minus 248 is equal to 168. Hence, there are 168 primary two boys in school. Let's move on and make sure that our answer is correct. From the answer, we know that there are 168 primary two boys in the school. From the question, we know that there are 248 girls in the school. The number of primary two pupils is equal to 168 plus 248. 168 plus 248 is equal to 416. This is consistent with the value given in the question. Therefore, our answer is correct. Now, it's your chance to challenge yourself and solve this word problem. Check out my Facebook page for the correct answer. That's all for today, kids. Always remember, it's okay not to know, but it's not okay to not try. Keep on learning. Bye!